Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Darwin. I just want to get comfortable, talk to you guys a little bit, have a chat about Subtlety Rogues. We all, I'm pretty sure most of us watch the European tournaments where they did the uh, regionals for a uh, current upcoming BlizzCon tournament for World of Warcraft. And the one of the things that we noticed is there were a lot of, uh, a decent amount of rogue representation. Uh, rogues really did shine as a class, in particular spec that kind of fronted and forward was Assassination. And then you had a close second as an outlaw actually performing very admirably, doing really well, being played really well by both Naj and Waz. But then there's one spec of rogue we didn't really see all that much was subtlety. Recently I got on stream and as I make videos I get a lot of comments which I read all of you guys' comments, all of you guys' thoughts, suggestions and everything. And whenever I make a video on subtlety rogues, it almost seems like there's like polarity between people that play subtlety. There's definitely two kinds of people. The two kinds of people I'm talking about are, are you, you might be one of them, you might be the, uh, what's the best way to put it, you might be the subtlety enthusiast, and I'm not saying it in a negative way, subtlety enthusiast would be saying that, hey, subtlety is a great spec, it is awesome, nothing's wrong with it, and those are the same guys who would be saying like, oh, you know, I I see you're pulling low damage down in the subtlety, while I pull top damage, you must be playing like an outlaw, and some stupid excuse like that. Um, don't want to call you just, you're stupid, but it sounds kind of dumb, let's be honest. So there's enthusiasts that love subtlety. But then there's the other, the polar opposite, people that say that subtlety got neutered by Blizzard. What? I was thinking everybody were happy playing subtlety, and I'm hearing a lot more of like, hey, I got my weapon, I got it fully built up, I still, feel, I still hit my enemies with a trout. Like, what is going on? Would I have daggers or fish for hands? It's like, what? So yeah, there's two opposites of uh, subtlety rogue players, and I'm kind of just trying to figure out where is subtlety at. That's literally what I'm trying to figure out is where subtlety at. For the most part, I'm impartial. I don't care whether you play subtlety or assassination or outlaw. I hope all three specs of those rogues do well, and I've expressed that idea for the longest time ever since I guess most of my I guess YouTube career throughout Warlords, as I did all the videos for subtlety, assassination, outlaw, and still continue to express it to this day, and have been able to successfully express it. I feel like during the beta of the game, just reviewing all the classes, reviewing all the specs, especially the specs for rogues, and reviewing all three of them, Outlaw, Assassin, Subtlety. For the longest time I said Outlaw is probably going to be the black sheep and not going to be played, it's going to be mostly a Subtlety that's going to be played, and then maybe Outlaw and Assassination, with Assassination seeing some play in specific comps. Turned out it was kind of the opposite, Assassination is the popular spec because the meta is so heavy on melee, and Assassination just has so much damage, so much pressure on a single target that basically all defensive cooldowns are getting blown within seconds and if you're sitting a silence or a stun for too long when it comes to assassination you straight up lose you can't beat assassination when it comes to the rogue defenses of feint being able to work well together with a healer having great defenses of evasion and cloak having garrote for a silence in order to lock down a healer whoever you are training the training capability simply the melee of the game and the meta of the game allows melee to train your target down and demolish them so that's why a subtlety, I mean, assassination is being put up a front. So I was thinking, okay, so if assassination is at the top, subtlety has to be next, and then maybe outlaw. Outlaw actually takes the next cake, in my opinion, as seen from the EU tournaments. Maybe that was just like a situational thing. But in the past, we've seen the trend for rogues in general. If there's a, ever a season where rogues are pretty doing pretty terrible, usually the spec that has the most CC comes out on top. If you remember, first season of Pandaria, rogues were garbage, and I was playing combat rogue at the time. I was like, well, rogues are garbage? Let me play combat. The worst spec out of them all. But the spec that really shined the most and the brightest, uh, there was a little bit of assassination because like, oh, you have the vendetta damage and then you can vanish for, for CC, some gimmicky thing. But for the most part, subtlety was the way to go because you had CC. You had a garrote, you had a cheap shot, you had a you know kidney, you had gouge, blind, you had burst that you could line up together with friendlies you had tricks of trade where you could play with another dps there's actually a lot you could do as a subtlety rogue but mostly because of the cc you were able to push yourself ahead when the meta was all about warriors and shadow priests and beast mastery hunters and frost mages and just you know burst 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 and being really really tanky and then world's trainer came around and in the first season we also saw I mean, rogues were doing well, but most of the time people were playing Outlaw. And Outlaw was great because of, like, assassination of its training capability. Just how much raw damage and pressure you can do on a single target. With capabilities to kick healers and CC with garrotes and cheap shots and do all the crazy things you do as Outlaw rogues. But subtlety was still viable. Subtlety was still very much playable because of the CC. Because of how much CC you could line up back to back on an enemy and you could, uh, you know, chain together CC with another player with twos or threes and made it viable. 
you also had burst so one if you ever have like a short moment of burst once every blue moon and cc that you can chain together you're good so rogues in the past have shown that as long as you have cc you can live past whatever meta it is whether it's a cc heavy caster meta just casters running around wizards casting all spells left and right polymorphs going out everywhere goddamn harry potters all over the goddamn place or if it's a melee where you have goddamn smorks running around blaze storm and whirlwinding doing what the fuck ever literally just running around and smashing face rogues have been able to come out and be relevant no matter if they're doing well or not they've been relevant because of the cc that they have and i feel like when you take a look at it outlaw rogues when you come kind of trailing back to the uh, eu regionals outlaw rogues have the most cc right now not only do you have a stun you not only do they have a blind gouge a kidney that's ranged uh you also have cooldown reduction so you're blind is a one minute cooldown and that's what we saw a lot of outlaw rogues doing during the tourney one minute cooldown on blind which is insane blind is a big cooldown people shrink it blind so with the blind you can let up some cc so blind into a stun into a polymorph you got cc you're a true polymorph you got cc right there and it's insane so when you take a look at damage assassination beats everybody out of water and when you look at cc outlaw kind of takes the cake for cc so it's a question of where does the leave subtlety and I feel like, I'm not sure how I feel about subtlety right now. I feel like it's a good spec, first of all. And I just don't know if it's that... How good is it, I guess, my question. I feel like it's good. It's solid. Like, I see potential to it in it. Like, I saw potential in Comet Rogue back in Pandaria when it was garbage. And I was like, oh, 8 seconds sun kill speed? I like it. But with subtlety, you have basically on-demand damage. When you want to deal damage, you have on-demand damage. When you want to deal, uh, have on-demand CC, like a cheap shot, you have on-demand CC. You have a lot more flexibility with the combo points and your finishes because of your kidney and cheap shot being two different abilities where you can stun one target, line up CC on the other, and you have a lot of mobility in order to help you account for everything else. So, spec is an interesting spec, and I definitely see mobility in it. I see potential for damage in it, but is it good, I guess, is the question. When we take a look at damage, assassination beats everybody out of water. Subtlety damage is okay. It's, uh, I won't say like shadow strikes are all that great. Night blades are a decent amount of damage. It was actually surprising just how, um, how much damage they deal as I was able to play a few arenas as assassination. Only skirm is nothing crazy. Uh, and then with finality, I can only fantasize about the idea of like strong eviscerates. But even your eviscerates right now crit for like 200k. Your eviscerate crits for 200k. I said, what? And I know they tone down the damage because you have so much mobility. But it's just like, it might have been too much, you know? It might have been too much, in my opinion. I don't know. It feels like a very spammy playstyle and doesn't feel like you have like enough, uh, enough enough of an oomph in your damage. When it comes to burst, I don't even feel like as a subtlety, I'm bursting. I feel like I'm doing slightly stronger consistent damage. Slightly stronger consistent pressure. It doesn't really feel like I'm just bursting on somebody. And yes, you would think like, oh, why don't you just run deeper stratagem and then use DFA and then gain finality and then beep and then just uh, one shot somebody. That doesn't really quite work. I tried running some crazy DFA build in BGs and the only time I could deal damage to break a million or even close enough, the biggest hit that I had without any buffs or anything was about a 600k on a, on a, de on a, what is it, Demon Hunter? I think it was on a Demon Hunter, 600k. You can get 600k with two run-throughs as an alpha roll. You can get through 600k easily with a single Envenom and a few dot ticks as assassination. But you have to invest so many resources as subtlety to get that damage. So instead it ends up being better to just shadow strike your enemy, put an eye blade, and just keep constant pressure. And it's just like, I don't know. I feel like maybe there's just not enough damage for subtlety. I don't know. It just feels weird. Like it has you have a lot of consistent pressure, consistent damage. But it's like when it comes to 3v3 arenas. I don't really know what I should be doing. What would Solitary Rogue do? I mean, yes, besides the lineup CC, like when it comes to damage and forcing pressure on enemies, when I'm just putting my Nightblade on one enemy, Shadow Striking them over and over with Nightblade being dispelled periodically, I just feel like I'm not really doing much. And I just, I don't know. I don't really know where Subtlety fits. It currently isn't the strongest spec in terms of damage. It does have damage potential, but it's not the strongest in terms of raw damage. In terms of CC, which has uh, helped out rogues in the past before, Outlaw definitely shines. I'm just trying to rationalize. I feel like Subtlety is still is a good spec. But it's like... I don't know if it's in a situation where... You know... I feel like if you're looking for damage, it's like you could play Subtlety, but an optimal choice is Assassination. 
When you're on a CC heavy comp, you could play subtlety, but an outlaw rogue is better. I just don't know the situation where a subtlety rogue, just exactly a subtlety rogue, really fits. Because I feel like the other two specs can basically just form to the meta. Whether you need burst, CC, whatever. And I just don't really know, don't really know where it leaves subtlety. I feel like it's a great spec. I feel like it's doing well. But I feel like it could be better, is what I'm trying to say. And I just don't really know. But this is just my thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Again, I'm not trying to shit talk subtlety here. I am literally didn't come out to make a video just to trash talk subtlety. I'm just not sure where they stand. And I would want to hear from you guys what are your thoughts on it. It doesn't matter whether you're like a gladiator player. Or literally somebody who queues battlegrounds and scores one win. And like, yeah, mom, look at me. I got damn. I don't care. Just let me know what, how you guys feel about subtlety. This video isn't like, oh, subtlety sucks. Prove me wrong. It's more like, how is subtlety doing? Explain it to me. From your experience as a player, I would love to hear from you guys. Anyway, this is my uh, my thoughts on subtlety, and I feel like it's been being mis. Overall, I'm think I feel like it's been a bit misrepresented ever since uh, the ladders and uh, the play style and uh, just the capabilities. And from the way rogues have been in the past, it just doesn't seem like maybe the strongest spec. But I wouldn't know. That's why I'm asking you guys. What are your thoughts on it? Anyway, this is everything I have for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below. I, again, I would love to hear from you guys. So please, feel free to comment whatever your thoughts are. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next one.